post game as Kennesaw State defeats NJIT 66 to 56. And coach, that three point shooting for the Owls tonight, pretty strong. Um, seemed like it was the big difference tonight against your squad. And um, but it looked like at times though your defense was pretty much in the right place at the right time. Well, I thought uh, you know they executed well early on, and, and you know their their uh, number four. Uh, Kelly for them really got some open three especially in that first half um, And then I thought we made some good adjustments in that second half and did a decent job overall Guarding those those threes, but you know it came down to you know They had it was a game of runs and you know We've got to shorten their runs and right now Kennesaw's playing a little, just a little bit better and we've got to As a team learn to adjust, you know and stop the bleeding so to speak and uh, they had a 17-0 run that carried you know end of the third quarter at the beginning of the fourth uh, you know, if we limit that to a 12-0 run, it might we might be talking about a different outcome. But uh, you know, I liked our character of our team. We didn't we didn't stop fighting. You know, made a val valiant effort to come back. You know, got within three and had some chances. But it just say, it takes so much energy when you get down. You know, double figures like that to come back. And uh, as a group, we've just got to learn to to minimize those runs a little bit better uh, and get some stops on defense and then execute and. Uh, you know, we executed well at times, uh, but at times we really settled offensively, and uh, we can't do that if we're going to get a victory. And I know there in the fourth quarter, you, uh, the team really had a nice strong run. Um, I know Leah comes in, and I know she, it was a missed layup. Seems like that kind of halted some of that momentum, but still Kennesaw State allowed uh, NJIT to really hang in there, but um, you know, for for your team there in the fourth quarter, uh, looked like Tracy started to kind of find her way a little bit, just because she was left with some one on one options, and Tot pretty much had a good effort all night. So um, you mentioned about the runs, but it seemed like just those handful of possessions, even there at the end, kind of were a little different for you guys. Yeah, no question. And, and when you, when you're playing from behind, uh, you know, every little possession matters, and uh, that's where we got to do a little bit better job early on executing and. You know, Lana had a tough night shooting the ball, and she's got to continue to be our aggressive uh, point guard for us. And I thought she settled a little bit, uh, but she'll learn from it, and, and we'll get better. Uh, you know, and Leah, obviously, got in foul trouble, and that really hurt us today because we had to keep her on the bench for a lot of that second half. And then, you know, she had a great look for a layup, but she's coming off the bench cold. You know, no excuses. you got to make a layup. But, you know, it, we've got to do a better job not fouling so we can keep her on the floor a little bit better. You know, Maria did a great job in her minutes tonight, and she continues to improve and uh, show really good signs for us. Uh, I thought Danny uh, played well, um, rebounded basketball, hit some jumpers tonight for us, but played much better. Uh, we just got to continue to grow. We got to learn from our mistakes and continue to fight. We obviously in the A Sun, there's no moral victories, but we got to, you know, we, we got to pick ourselves back up, and we got a tough game on Saturday, uh, you know, at, at Jacksonville. All right, Coach, thank you so much. Thank you.